بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ رب العالمین ما دیئر سٹوڈنٹس دوز ہو آر ڈوئنگ دیر ہاؤس جاپس دوز ہو آر ان تھرڈ ایئر ان فورت ایئر اور فائنل ایئر دوز ہو آر ٹرائنگ فار دی ممبرشپ اگزامنیشنز اور ایون دی فیلوشپ اگزامنیشن آئی ایم ایکچولی آن ڈیمانڈ آئی ایم ریپیٹنگ دی complication of cirrhosis you know bits means bits mean that uh, every point has been taken in detail uh, practically speaking but in uh, practically speaking we are talking about definitely which, which, uh, which are applied side no doubt but the background knowledge should be there why why it happens one of the complication is hepatic, hepatic encephalopathy And hepatic encephalopathy means that encephalopathy means that the depression of the neurological functions. It may be the organic, it may be functional, but it is called encephalopathy. I am Professor S. I am honorary global professor of medicine online and without any fame or anything or any economics. Remember this point. Now what is this hepatic encephalopathy? They said that it is a reversible decrease in the neurological function, function, secondary to the liver disease. If it is liver disease, it is called hepatic encephalopathy. If it is neuremia, it is called uremic encephalopathy. If it is metabolic, it is called metabolic encephalopathy. If it is hypertension, It is called hypertensive encephalopathy. If it is liver disease, it is called hepatic encephalopathy. It may be acute, seen with acute liver failure. It may be acute on chronic, established cirrhosis. In case of the acute fulminant liver failure or fulminant hepatitis, we have seen this condition many times. Whether it is, whether it is A, B, C, D, E, whatever it is. because the destruction of the hepatocyte is so much that it will not cope and the and the nitrogen and substance which are supposed to be catabolized in the liver they they cannot be catabolized they will enter into the systemic circulation and then into the brain functions the patient who is already cirrhotic relapse and remission occurs in these conditions The patient will become fine, or you can say slightly better, and then again it become very, very, you know, uh, problematical or acute. This is called acute on chronic type of a hepatic encephalopathy. But it's a part of the uh, end stage uh, liver disease, anyway. Now here, why it occurs? Because you know the proteins, they are absorbed in the small intestine. But proteases are there, different type of proteases. They catabolize it and into the amino acids and amino acids are absorbed. They come into the circulation to, through portal vein, portal vein into the hepatocyte where they are catabolized to the pathways. And there are certain substances or the byproducts are formed in the liver. And instead of For example, instead of uh, forming urate into the uric acid, it cannot form. The urates are there, but uric acid cannot be formed. Uric acid should be formed in the liver. For example, in the same session, the ammonia is the byproduct. The marcaptains, remember, the, the, the marcaptains are very important substances. Not ammonia, marcaptains, glutamine. alpha amino butyric acid benzodiazepine like substances in the they are also converted into the benzodiazepine like substances and tryptophan and serotonin are also formed in the liver abnormally aromatic amino acids are also formed magnes or magnes compounds are formed and opioids are formed these are interesting And these are all 
the mother does the pineal substances, the opioids, the ammonia, they all suppress the brain functions. So they go into the brain and they cause the insufficiency of the cerebral functions, brain functions, higher centers are depressed. This is the concept of the pathophysiology, you can say, in any way. Now this is what is elaborated in this diagram from the intestine. The, you have, we have engulfed the proteins, but there are other substances that are also releasing the proteins. For example, the coliform bacteria. They are also producing, they are, uh, they are uh, you know, go for apoptosis, that is death of the bacteria and then again they are uh, regenerate and then again death, they regenerate again death and then regenerate. The byproducts are formed from the intestine also and they are also absorbed with the other uh, amino acids which you have taken by mouth and they go to the liver without catabolism into the proper pathway they go another pathway and the certain substances are formed in which the ammonia is the mo most dangerous substance. Through the hepatic vein comes to this side and then that other side it crosses in the in the in the uh, you know lungs to the uh, to the left side of the, of the heart and then the systemic circulation specifically speaking to the brain where the substances are toxic substances they suppress the brain functions. Now this is the another elaborated diagram. It's interesting here. Gut flora plus proteins you are absorbed, you are taken by mouth. They are abnormally converted into the ammonia, glutamine, methionine, nitrogen, serotonin, GABA, benzodiazepine like substances, marcoptins, etc. They are catabolized and these are not properly because these substances are not go to the correct path. Ammonia which should be converted into ammonium and then ammonium will be, you know, there is a pathway of the ammonia, ammonium cycle that is. And otherwise the ammonia is directly go or the methanol will again directly go, the GABA, serotonin, they are directly go into the left, right side of the heart and then to the right side, uh, left side of the heart and then to the systemic circulation. So they bypass it. It means that they are bypassing it. The okay, liver is not functioning. They are directly going. The liver is unable to catabolize properly. So the brain is affected by these toxic substances and there is dysfunction of the brain function. The hepatic, hepatic encephalopathy Clinical features are reversal of sleep pattern. You will usually sleep at the night. Say you usually sleep in the day. The night, for the night, they can't sleep. The reversal of the sleep pattern is the first complaint of the patient. Then disturb consciousness, there will be difficulty in concentration. Personality changes, becomes very, you know, aggressive. Or he doesn't want, or she doesn't want to talk or abnormal uh, talks, very strange talks, intellectual deterioration occurs. They cannot recognize properly the persons or other things. And the fetal hepaticus, specifically the ammonia and ammonium-like substances, they are uh, excreted from the liver by, 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 by passing from the right side of the heart to the left side of the heart. So the ammonia and ammoniated, ammoniated substances, they are releasing from the in expiration and it is a bad, you know, uh, uh, feeder, uh, feeder, that is called feeder. This is a, in the feces, fecal matter type of a uh, thing. In the ammoniacal smell, it is a bad smell. The person very near to it doesn't like this. Asteresis, it is the flapping tremors which has developed. Again, it, it occurs because of the suppression of the basal ganglia, basically. And the acidosis occurs in this fashion. And the fluctuating consciousness, which the person becomes normal for one hour, two hours, and then again the abnormal type of a behavior. And these are the, these are the important presentations 
in your ward also and in your at the home also in the OPD you will see these type of cases. Underlying is the chronic liver disease or I will say the cirrhosis of the liver. That is the flavoring tremor. Flavoring tremor should be demonstrated. You just put the your hands on the uh, fingers and then flex it very on the posteriorly. Flex you you, you just go to for the extension. Flexion. You go for the extension now, forcefully, and then just just slip your hand. Then the fl flapping tremor will develop. The flapping tremor tremor Tremors are also seen in other metabolic type of encephalopathies, for example, uremic type of uremic uh, encephalopathy. The flapping tremors. Flapping tremors is one of the peripheral stigmata of the cirrhosis of the liver also. The fetal hepatic is smell from death. Smell from death. So this is a sour, musty odor in the breath due to the volatile substances normally formed in the stool by the bacteria, many markaptains and other things. The markaptains, if not removed by the liver, are excreted to the lungs and appear in the breath. They have a very bad smell. Feature hepaticus does not correlate with the degree of duration in capillary. But its absence does not exclude the hepatic incapillary. It is one of the part of it. It may be the patient may be fine, but he has bad smell. It is possible because of the other reason as well. But it is one of the uh, one of the feature of this disease. Now this encephalopathy is uh, in clinical staging should be done. Subclinical intellectual functions, normal examination, but work or driving may be impaired. Driving is difficult in Karachi specifically. Because there is no rules or regulation, so he will not, he cannot drive well. About the neuromuscular function, subtle changes on the psychometric or the number connection test. 7 plus 3, 11 plus 7. So he, if he, is a, he is a, you know, accountant, he find difficulty. And then the Stage 1, there is impaired attention, irritability, depression or personality change will occur. And on examination you find the tremor, that is the esterexis, flapping tremor in coordination of the muscle movement and apraxia. Apraxia means that he knows how to do the work, he knows but he can't do. Stage 2 is the drowsiness, behavior changes, poor memory and com competition sleep disorder. Here comes the problem of the sleep and uh, by mistake the pe people or doctors give the, the uh, tranquilizer etc. they worsen the condition. Remember do not give it because all are catabolized by the liver because liver will not catabolize if it directly go to the brain. Again the hysteresis are marked hysteresis in stage 2 slowed or slurred speech just like in Parkinson and ataxia gait. Patient has got ataxic gait because the cerebellum is involved. Stage 3 is a confusion and disorientation, somnolence and amnesia loss of memory. He cannot remember the recent or the past memory. Exactly very, very confused. On an examination you find the hypoactive reflexes. The stigmoid movement may be may be there. Clonus is possible and the muscular rigidity is possible like because of the basal ganglia is involved. Stage 4, now there will be stupor and semi-coma and coma. This is the final stage. Here you will find the dilated pupils and discrete, uh, discriminated posturing, decerebrate posturing like that is it is a cut off the of the of the, of the brain stem to the other part of the uh, of the brain it is called the what is the cerebrate rigidity or posturing oculocephalic reflex which is definitely normal it is not normal reflex you can elaborate it the oculocephalic reflex ocular means that you get light 
to the to the eyes, and the patient will nod. It is not normal. The absence of response to the stimuli in the advanced stages and uh, everything you go, uh, will will be will, you, you will find in this stage. So new neutral type of reflexes will be also can be elicited in this stage. If every function is depressed now, higher functions are definitely affected. So there is subclinical stage, stage one, stage two, stage three, stage four. Go to the ward and see the patient in an incubator, whether he is in a subclinical stage or stage one or stage two, stage three or stage four. Write it down on the piece of the paper, stage one, and then justify in front of your immediate supervisor. Now the test should be done. Because I'm in a stage two and a stage three drawing test, star test. You make a star like this and ask the patient to copy it. He will copy like this. Very irregular type of a thing. Spiral test can be done, just like in Parkinsonism because basal ganglia is involved. He cannot make a spiral and, and it is the worst one. In, 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 in stage two, in stage three, in, or in stage four. A spiral is definitely the aberrated type of very, very irregular type of a spiral. Spiral test can be done. You can do it. He practice kare patient ke upar, please. Star banwa ke check kare hain, spiral test banwa ke check kare hain, stage, stage two or three aapko pisa chal jayegi. So stage one hai, stage two hai, stage three mein ye dikha hai, ye bhatar hai kuch, ye kharaab hai, ye isse kharaab hai. Stage four, stage four mein to wo kari nahi sakta, wo to coma toys ho jayega patient. Diagnosis is kaise ho ki clinical diagnosis hai. That's the most important one. Serum ammonia level wagara jo karate hain, usse diagnose banana galat hai. Kyunki isme ye hai ki har patient mein serum ammonia zyada nahi hota. Lekin karwa lena chahiye koi haj nahi. Mana nahi karte isko. Drawing test hai ya apne laboratory test ki abhi bhi maine bataye hain. EEG ke andar ye sab dysfunction aayega iske andar. Wave, waves jo hain wo sari ki sari jo hain abnormal waves meaning you have. CT MRI may show cerebral atrophy in this condition because of the constant effects of the toxins on the brain. These are the exhibiting factors of encephalopathy. Hepatic necrosis, constipation is the first thing for this because a lot of the uh, nitrogen substances are released and absorbed. Infection again will go for the production of the protein, dietary protein, if it, he is taking the dietary protein in a, in a, in a not allotted, uh, you know, ra rationing is not there, then it will be definitely harmful to the patient. Hypoglymic alkalosis is a, again the bad uh, marker for the encephalopathy. GI hemorrhage again, the blood will definitely dissolve and the end result will be the, again the nitrogenic substances. Sedative will burst or lady which is depressed brain, you are all, you, you will adding the, uh, the depression, depression m of the functions. Azotemia is the most important thing. It is related with encephalopathy. So in the hepatorenal syndrome, the hepatic encephalopathy, it is the hallmark of this. If a hepatorenal syndrome is occurring in this patient, it means that he will go directly in few days into hepatic encephalopathy or hepatic encephalopathy, vice versa. It means the person who has got the stage 2 hepatic encephalopathy, when he will be, go, he will go into three, third stage or fourth stage, then the hepatorenal syndrome will occur. And there are, you know, look the, 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 the percent of admissions with azotemia or more with encephalopathy. Because kidneys are also not functioning and they are not excreting the nitrogen substance, they are collecting, collect, you are collecting the nitrogen substance in the blood again and again and, and again and again. Now management, this is the problem. Identify and treat the precipitation factor. If it is there, write it down. If patient could say that nahi bataya gaya kya khana hai, kya peena hai. Sabse zaruri cheez to yeh hoti hai. Wo khaa ya raha hai, usko jo mil jata hai, khaa jata hai, jo aap, Hospital wale de rahe hai, wo khara hai wo. 
वो कह रहे हैं मैं ब्रोस्ट खाऊंगा आपने जाके ब्रोस्ट ला के दे दिया वो कॉन्स्टिपेटेड था उसको आपने जो है ना इलेक्ट्रोलोज देनी चाहिए थी इलेक्ट्रोलोज शुड बी डन या चाहे वो कॉन्स्टिपेटेड हो या ना हो क्यों इलेक्ट्रोलोज जो है ना वो बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट जो है ना प्रगेटिव है दूसरा प्रगेटिव इस्तेमाल नहीं करते इसमें क्यों ये बाइंड करता है किस चीज़ को नाइट्रोजन सब्सटेंस को ऑन वन हैंड और दूसरी तरफ जो है ये क्या करता है कि ये ऑस्मेटिक डायरिया करता है बाहर निकाल देता है तो इलेक्ट्रोलोज जो होता है वो कन्वर्ट होता है स्टमक के अंदर इलेक्ट्रोलोज से आप इलेक्ट्रिक एसिड पहले बनाते हैं अरे हाइड्रोजन आइन आपका एड हो जाता है इसमें फिर वो डिटैच हो जाता है स्मॉल इंटेस्टिंग में तो वो फिर लेक्टेट की शिकल इख्तियार कर लेता है हाइड्रोजन आइन अलग हो जाता है उससे फिर ये होता है कि वो बाइंड कर जाता है नाइट्रोजन सब्सटेंस को अब उसके बाद उसका जो पार्ट है ओपन पार्ट वो प्रोटीन के साथ मिल जाता है और उसको बाहर निकालने की कोशिश करता है उधर जो हाइड्रोजन आयन के साथ आपने इसको मिलाया था तो वो बाहर निकल आया है और उसके साथ वो कम्बाइन होने के बाद ये जो डील करेगा या ऑस्मोटिक डायरिया प्रोड्यूस कर देगा तो ये होगा कि वॉश आउट हो जाएगा सारा तो लेप्टोलॉज का देने का तरीका ये होता है कि थर्टी एम शुड बी गिवन और फिर थर्टी एम एल फोर आवरली शुड बी गिवन अनलेस के डायरिया स्टार्ट जब डायरिया एक दफ़ा स्टार्ट हो जाएगा तो थर्टी एम एल थ्री टाइम्स अ डे कर दिया जाएगा इसको आप तीन चार दफ़ा दोहराएं लोडिंग डोज इसकी थर्टी एम एल दें और फिर तीन घंटे चार घंटे बाद फिर दें जब तक देते रहें जब तक मोशन स्टार्ट ना हो जाए अब मोशन जब स्टार्ट हो जाए तो थर्टी एम एल थ्राइज सा दे दें अनलेस के पेशेंट जो है वो स्टेज थ्री से स्टेज वन में आ जाए फिर रोज़ाना इलेक्ट्रोलोज रात को थर्टी एम एल दें ये सही तरीका है वो ये प्रोटीन डाइट के लिए जो बहुत मैंने आराम से पहले भी बताया था आपको कि प्रोटीन को रिस्ट्रिक्ट किए जाते हैं और मैक्सिमम जो प्रोटीन दिया जाता है जो हम देते हैं वो हम बता देते हैं आपको हफ्ते में दो दिन जो है हंड्रेड ग्राम अलाउड है प्रोटीन सब्सटेंस इससे ज़्यादा नहीं दे सकते और किसी फॉर्म में भी हो तो लोग जो होते हैं वो न्यूट्रेंट सप्लीमेंट दे रहे होते हैं गलत से गलत वो भी इसमें भी प्रोटीन होता है प्रोटीन को आपको कम से कम रखना है हाई कार्बोहाइड्रेट डाइट देनी है हाई फैटी डाइट देनी है और फिर उसके बाद जो है जो बैक्टीरियल जो ओवर ग्रोथ हो रही है उसके लिए जो है ना न्यूमाइसिन एक दवा लेते थे किस जमाने में अभी नहीं लेते बिकॉज उसकी टॉक्सिसिटी की वजह से मेटर रिजॉल्व बहुत अच्छे सब्सटेंस था वो दिया करते थे फिर सिप्रोफ्लॉक्सिन लोगों ने देना शुरू किया इसके वो बहुत अच्छी थी ड्रग तमाम जो है ना वो कॉलीफॉर्म बैक्टीरिया को कवर करती थी अब आजकल जो है इससे अच्छी ड्रग है जो कि एब्जॉर्ब ही नहीं होती वो रिफेक्ट जमीन है तो रिफेक्ट जमीन जो है ना 550 मिलीग्राम की लोडिंग डोज पे देंगे फिर उसको हाफ कर देंगे बाद में वन सा डे भी अगर आप दे दें रिफेक्ट जमीन तो बहुत इफेक्टिव ड्रग है ये रिफेक्सा के नाम से भी आती है निमेक्सा के नाम से भी आती है ये रिफेक्सा के नाम से भी आती है ये देना ही देना है और फिर उसके बाद ये सारे पॉइंट जो हैं ये सारे लिखे हैं आप मैनेजमेंट में जनरल मेजर स्पेसिफिक मेजर्स वो जैसे मैंने बताए थे और उसके बाद प्लान करें इसका या तो आप प्लान करें कि इसके अंदर जो है ना शन डाल दें टी आई पी एस एस और वो जो है ब्रिज होगा या फिर नहीं जब तक वो नहीं आप कर सकते हैं क्योंकि खुद ब्रिज जो है ना इसके लिए प्रॉब्लम यह है कि वो खुद इनकोपेथी कर देता है खाली वो पोर्टल हाइपरटेंशन को कवर करता है इतनी जम्प देते हैं ट्रांसप्लांटेशन को तो ट्रांसप्लांटेशन अगर हो जाए पेशेंट का जो यहाँ पे नहीं किया जाता पचास साल से ज़्यादा की उम्र का तो उसमें हाथ ही नहीं लगा सकते अमेरिका में तो सत्तर साल की उम्र के आदमी को भी ट्रांसप्लांट करते हैं बचाने की कोशिश करते हैं वो किस तरह से पेशेंट को बचाएँ हमारे यहाँ तो ट्रेन ही नहीं है खौफजदा हो जाते हैं कि कहीं ये रिजेक्ट ना हो जाए लेकिन आप रिजेक्शन को रोक सकते हैं ना आप अपना फ़न अपने आर्ट डेवलप करें ना हम कॉन्फिडेंस डेवलप करें वो हमारे यहाँ जो है नापैद है उसके अंदर एक डायग्राम बनाई गई है अमोनिया के लिए अब ये देखिए कि इसके अलावा जो सब्सटेंस हैं जो प्रोड्यूस हो रहे थे उन्होंने ट्रायल दिया है इसके ऊपर इसमें एक ट्रायल जो है फ्लोमेथनिल का इसलिए है क्योंकि बेंदोडीपीन लाइक सब्सटेंसेज होते हैं कुछ लोगों में फ़ायदा भी कर जाते हैं मुझे मैंने अभी अभी डिस्कस भी कर दिया इसको और इसी तरीके से दूसरी सब्सटेंसेस जो हैं 
جس میں انکریز ہوتی ہے آف دا گلوٹامین ہوتی ہے جیسے برانچ چیز جو مانا جیسے زنک ہے ایل آرتھنین ہے ایل اسپیٹیٹ یہ ملتا ہے بازار میں یہ فائدہ مند ثابت ہو سکتا ہے مگر ہر یعنی فزیشین اس کو نہیں مانے گا اور زیادہ سے زیادہ ایکسکریشن کرانے کے لیے آرمتھین اور گلیسرول فینائل بیٹر یہ ملتا ہے بازار میں سیرپ فارم میں تو آپ دے سکتے ہیں ہپامر سیرپ ہے چیٹیپال سیرپ ہے یہ اس میں سب مل جائیں گی وہ ایڈیشنل سبسٹانسز ہیں جو میں لکھے اس میں لکھے گئے ہیں باقی رفکزمین میں پہلے بتا چکا ہوں نٹرز آکسنائٹ بھی ملتی ہے بازار میں لیکن اس سے بہتر رفکزمین ہے تو یہ ساری چیزیں ہیں اور لیکچولوز تو ہے ہی ہے وہ تو پہلے میں نے کہا کہ آپ کو دینا ہے ناٹ فار اپرگیٹیو بٹ اس کے ادر فائدے بھی ہیں یہ ساری چیزیں جو ہے نا یہ دینے کا کرنے کا مقصد یہ تھا کہ امونیا کو کسی طرح کانٹراڈکٹ کیا جائے تو یہ ہے ساری گفتگو ہے ہمارا محور جو آپ کو بتانا تھا آپ چاہیں تو اس پوائنٹس کو بار بار اس کو دیکھیں اور بار بار اس کو اس طرح سے دیکھیں جنرل میجر اسپیسیفک میجرس پھر آپ دیکھیں اس کے جو ہے سمٹومیٹک میجرس پریونٹیو میجرس کیا ہوتے ہیں وہ آپ دیکھیں ڈائٹی میجرس کیا ہوتے ہیں پھر سرجیکل میجرس کیا ہوتے ہیں اگر آپ یہ اس طرح دیکھیں گے تو اس میں بھرنا پڑے گا پھر آپ کو جب بھریں گے تو خود بخود ہی آپ پوائنٹ مس نہیں کر سکیں گے پیشنٹ جو ہوتے ہیں اسٹیج فور سے اسٹیج تھری میں بھی نکل آتے ہیں پھر وہ ٹو میں بھی چلے جاتے ہیں ہم نے دیکھا ہے اس طرح سے تو یہ ہوتا ہے کہ ہوتا ہے ریلیپسنگ اسٹیٹ میں چلتے ہیں ریلیپسنگ ریمیٹنگ اسٹیٹ میں بعض لوگ دو دو تین تین سال تک زندہ رہے ہیں ہیپیٹک انفیپیتھی کے ساتھ جو ہمارے فرینڈ تھے وہ تین سال تک یہ تھے ان کو ہم نے مینیج کیا تھا آفٹر ورتھ ان کی ڈیتھ ہو گئی تھی تو دس از دا ڈسکشن اباؤٹ دی ہیپیٹک انفیپیتھی اس کو اپنے ذہن میں بسا لیں اچھی طرح سے مینجمنٹ کو اور اس کی جو پیتھوجنیسس کو وما علینہ انبلاغ السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ